hi guys another property vlogs tour here today today we're going to show you the wellwin which is a gorgeous show home it's a four bedroom home if you like what you see so far on the outside stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together welcome home come inside so right first things first we've got a little beep from the security system i love to see that um and then we've got a glazed door and it's a very tall door i have to say much taller than your standard door like i feel like so short with it but it floods the hallway with lots of natural light and you've got a side light next to it fantastic you've got this chromatic choir <laughs> please comment below how you're meant to pronounce this word c-o-i-r and i always struggle with it choir matting um which basically is this durable matting that stops you bringing in dirt into the beautiful carpet um if it was me, you know, I love to say this, I would just make this all luxury vinyl tile or ceramic tile for durability. But anyway, let's move on. So you're basically protecting your carpet, you drop your shoes there. You've got a little space for a little console there, table for decorations, candles, keys. And then you've got your entryway. Our staircase is there leading upstairs. We've got a mystery door. We've got an, a living space there and another living space. So before we flow, let's go into this space first because I want to check out what's going on here. And so what do we have here? We have a formal lounge. You could probably make this a formal dining if you really wanted to. Or I haven't said this in a while, but consider making it an accessible downstairs bedroom for elderly parents or just for people that's if you don't need a formal lounge if you do need a formal lounge well they've staged it perfectly for you you can see you can fit a massive four-seater sofa a large sofa over there and a two-seater over here you've got a focal point which i'm not sure is a standard feature you can just check in the developer's details or you could have your tv above it and essentially the size of this room is really well proportioned i love the fact that they've got an almost wall-to-wall -wall window facing the front of the property it floods this space with so much light and essentially the size of the room is further enhanced by the fact that the floor to ceiling is taller than your usual floor to ceilings so coming back into here before i leave let's check out the details of the door so we've got chrome ironmongery to the door as well so the handles are chrome and then we've got two panel doors with a satin white effect so it's not high gloss and it's not matte it's just a bit in between the two we've got our standard architraves as well with this kind of bull nose profile here and a square edge and a bit of a chamfer there and that continues into your standard skirting profile i like the light switches as well oh schneider electric that's actually quite a reputable brand so that's who's doing your lights light switches coming back into this space you've got space for a pendant feature lighting and then let's go into our mystery door which i'm really hoping is a downstairs toilet but let's not promise yes okay it is a downstairs toilet i just switched on the down lights okay so it's a well proportioned downstairs toilet with a toilet and a sink by sortini and a tap by sortini and a radiator they've gone for luxury vinyl tile or at least it's a durable kind of vinyl type of tile in the bath in the downstairs toilet you can see it's a space underneath the stair so the ceiling height again is tall apart from the portion that's just underneath the stair so that's great downstairs toilet tick now let's go into the space we'll be waiting for wow okay i am so excited right now like i'm really excited this layout is ideal you've got horizontal flow from your living space into your dining space into your kitchen space and it flows effortlessly so now where you are is the living space it's a really nice snug you can have an l-shaped section here you know communicate with people and the rest communicate <laughs> you can speak and have conversation with the rest of the family and friends that are in the rest of the space you've got a lovely slat uh, shaped area here with a focal point for a tv and then you've got a window facing the back garden there so this area is actually very bright as well and then you've got a feature pendant there you've got the beautiful luxury vinyl tiling there as well and then a six seater um, dining area which can be then converted or extended into much bigger you've got opposite the dining area you've got 
your double doors, your PVC doors facing the back garden. There is a step down from here into the back garden. Um, and then obviously if you're having your barbecues, your events, it's such a good flow between outside and inside, bringing in the food in, eating it. You know, with it being British weather, maybe you do need to bring the food in and out quite abruptly. <laughs> and then coming back into this space, I love the fact that they've done a breakfast bar. So they've got a kitchen diner and a dining and then a living area. So this breakfast bar here obviously means that, you know, if you just want to eat food really briskly, you don't have to be standing up eating it. You've got this beautiful, what could be, I'm not 100% sure whether it's natural or man-made, but it's a, it feels like stone, essentially. It's a very nude, kind of neutral tone. We've got a mystery door over there, which we'll check out in a second. And then essentially it's a U-shaped kitchen and I love the proportion of it. There is something called, I'm not sure if it's referred to as a golden triangle, but there is an imaginary triangle you draw between your sink, your hob and your oven and it's supposed to basically allow you to flow between prep space cooking space and then oven space and this kitchen and the u-shaped formation allows you to do that very very well i love the worktop they've continued it as an upstand and into the window and then there's a window right in front of your sink you're never going to get bored doing the washing up ever again you're going to want to have you're going to want to do your washing up every single day Yes, you are. <laughs> There's a sink by, now I can't even say this brand. It's either 1810 or something else I can't say. And then the actual sink itself, I think it's, it is 1810. I think it is 1810. It's a one and a half bowl stainless steel sink with the same kind of fabricated grooves into the worktop. Flows nicely. They've joined the two together, so it's not one whole piece because it's cheaper to do it's two separate pieces, but it's been done in a color matched grout between the two, which is fantastic. You've also got the backsplash in the same material, which carries that theme across. You've got your extract fan above your electric hob as well by AEG, great reputable brand. And then all of this is storage, which leaves the traditional oven space to be here in these integrated panels over here. We've got lots of storage and this is cool guys. This is so cool. So we've got the storage system here for spices. And then we've got our fridge freezer here in a 60-40 arrangement and the lines line through. So there's a lot of consideration about the detail. So that's the fridge and you read it really nicely because obviously had they gone for a 50 50 split the lines wouldn't match up so great idea i love the kind of mauve color to the doors as well it's in a shaker style um kitchen paneling style and then on the inside i forgot to show you again the inside is also color matched and veneered so that's a bonus and that's not standard or usual for most houses so before we leave the space let's confirm we do indeed have a dishwasher here yep that looked quite aggressive <laughs> yank and then we've got lots and lots and lots of storage consider upgrading one of these cupboards to a wine cooler so yep that's great and then let's come into this space which is a utility um, the utility has the same level of quality finishes we've got a separate washer and dryer we've got the sink by 1810 and then the tap by 1810 as well we've got extract fan as well to keep this place uh, very uh, well ventilated as well and a door leading to the garden so that's fantastic it's a glazed door we've got a surprise feature here which looks like this might be the other side of the stair if you're following us hopefully you know exactly where we are it's an additional store and a lot of people would have been like oh, why have you done that i'm never like that the more storage the better so imagine you could put bikes in there or prams or, or just anything, you know, it's a, definitely a bonus. So coming back into our kitchen, we just touched on all the details in here and the amazing flow in the space. And, oh, Brian, now I see why you weren't following me. It's because I almost missed the mystery door. So well done on catching that. Mystery door, more storage. So this is the other side of the stair, more storage. Oh, that's cool. Right, so 
yeah now we've completed this space let's go to the rest of the house so back in the corridor again you can see it's really generously sized i love it let's go upstairs so up the staircase you've got this semicircular rounded smooth handrail as well and wooden balustrades you've got a mid landing a kind of a semi quarter landing quarter landing and then now we're actually on the first floor so we are on the first floor of the property thank you brian for turning on the lights um let's do this room first so let's check what's in here now considering we just came upstairs i think this is just going to be a store cupboard um a high level one so let's have a look yep so that bulking that that step there is because the stair is below we need head height to walk upstairs but they used it as space so you could use that as a storage space wardrobe for this single bedroom so the single bedroom faces the front of the house you've got a three pane window with two opening lights i love it trickle vents um so a um, radiator and i initially was like well, this is where i would put my wardrobe here well, i realized you can't really put a wardrobe right in front of a window because it would block it so you just bear in mind you probably use a chest of drawers down there instead but then that means you can put a tv there and then put your bed there so the way they've staged the bed is the room is probably the way i would stage it it's a single room it could be an office let's not forget the work from home people they still exist so an office a studio games room playroom nursery it's endless really so this is a nice single bedroom with again on this floor i just want to say the ceiling heights are still very tall and the door heights are still taller than your standard door heights and so that is something that means that the developer's gone the extra mile for this property on the first floor so coming to the next bedroom a very nicely sized double bedroom so again one thing i will say is just just be careful to look out for where you're putting your wardrobes i'm not seeing a lot of wardrobes in this property so we have to plan that in so this is a double bedroom probably could go bigger for a king if you really wanted to you've got a large window facing the back garden as well and then you Oh yeah, I want to also mention this location is very peaceful and quiet. It's very conducive to like family life, living. It's just a lovely area. Um, that's another thing to look for, obviously, when you're looking at new build developments. So the bed is there, the mirror's there, and this is where you put your wardrobe on there. It'd be like a double wardrobe. Just factor that in or a chest of drawers like they've done. So coming back into the landing, let's go into this room now. So, wow, okay, come in. So let's go and look at this room. Wow, this is lovely. Great proportions. This is what I love to see. I love to see a large window facing the front of the property, a large super king bed, which can you can definitely even upgrade it. I don't know what kind of bed you'd want that would be bigger than this, but if you did, you can. You can make a bigger bed, have like a, a an ottoman at the end or a little console at the end of the bed, a storage system. And then, you know, the nook that you are in right now is where the dresser could be or a little desk if you like to work in your bedroom. And then your TV could go on that wall. You've got a whole considered, like the whole wall is being thought through that they're going to have this being a wardrobe. Ooh whoopsies i meant to move this door so this is a sliding mirrored door as well whoopsies yeah that's a bit awkward to maneuver but essentially it's a sliding mirrored door with floor to ceiling wardrobe space lots of space in between great amount of space either side for bedside tables and fantastic ceiling heights and then again let's go into here this is your primary bedroom ensuite again we fully tiled this space in a very natural neutral stone colored tile and then they've got a beautiful edging strip around all the sharp edges which adds a classic touch we've got a window facing the rear garden sorry the side garden lets in lots of light, natural light and ventilation and then we've got a shower here which is fully tiled and that beautiful tiling with the shower handheld device in the shower there we've got our heated towel rail and our floating sink by sotini there with our tap by sotini a shaver socket and 
they've obviously staged it with a medicine cabinet. They've also added a ventilation, a vent, an extract fan as well, which is great for added ventilation. And I see this thing called Therma, and I think it means that this area can be individually controlled in terms of heat as well, which is lovely. Um, so coming back out of this room, I'm trying to remember where I've been. Feel a little bit lost. Does that mean that the house is big or does that mean the layout, there's a flow thing going on there? Not sure, but essentially the next thing on this corridor is this hot water cylinder store. I don't think you've got that much space around it to actually use it as a store, but if you absolutely needed to, there are some nooks and crannies for storage. So that's what's in mystery door on the landing. And then right in front of us looks to be the family bath. I love the proportions. Right in front of you, you've got the window um, facing the other side of the property. And then you've got natural light flooding through. You've got your floating vanity, your sink, your toilet, and your heated tower rail, and a really nicely sized bath with a little area above it, bulky, um, the bulkhead, which is probably above the stair downstairs. That's probably why they've done that. Don't quote me on that, but essentially it's a nice little area for them to, for you to store um, toiletries. So again, LVT flooring, beautiful spotlights, tasteful fittings. And then the final room on this floor is this one. Now this is a double room as you can see, and it's actually facing the rear of the gar the rear garden. You've got a large window again, and there's none of those um, dividing, well, they're glazing bars, but they're actually um, P UPVC glazing bars. There's none of them on these windows facing the back, which means you have unobstructed views of the garden. I don't know if some people really don't like glazing bars, but I love the fact that these are like kind of almost as close to picture windows as you can get. You've got a nice radiator there, a double bed there. I was looking for the wardrobe space, searching for it, and then I realized it's already been considered. So this is a fitted wardrobe here, which would probably be additional cost to get that done. But you know that they've considered the space for that. And then you've got, like I said, your double with your two bedsides. So right guys, I love touring this. I'm actually going to sit down for this conclusion. The first property vlogs tour ending with me sitting down. So what do I want to say? I want to say if you liked what you saw, like the video, it means so much to our channel to have you interact with us and like and give feedback. If you saw anything that we missed, comment and most of all subscribe so that you can be notified when we post another video like this next week. So yeah, see you in the next video. Wait a couple of seconds for some suggestions to pop up and yeah, stay tuned. Bye.